Hey guys, Carson and Peter here with Lifestyle Properties of Maine. Today we're going to be looking at 170 acres out in Holden. Yeah, and the neat thing about Holden is you're kind of halfway between Bangor and Brewer to the west, northwest, and then you have Ellsworth to the east. It's a lot of options there for culture. This is a country location, but you're really close to the, the cities. And this property also has some pretty good elevations, so there's some great views from it, and it's subdividable. You know, Absolutely. Yeah, great property to, hey, build your house on. If you've got friends or family, you'd like to create some other lots and, and have them pick, you basically pick your neighbors. Basically, yeah. Right? Absolutely. So let's head out to uh, Holden. Take a look. So we're on Route 46, we just turned off from Route 1A, and this, this is called the Lower Dedham Road, and we're going to be at the property in less than half a mile, and this road, if we continue on, would take us down into Bucksport, Route 1, and from there you could get to a lot of different coastal destinations, but we'll be arriving at the property here shortly. We're just turning on to the access road coming in. The owner built the road in up to the upper elevations. It's about 3,600 feet of road here. And he's run power in. You see these new poles coming into the property, about 700 feet. So it's all set if you wanted to build down in the valley here, ready to go. And then on the upper portions, you certainly could put a little cabin or a lookout place up on the views up there. So we're in about, uh, about the end, well, at the end of the power right now, 700 feet, and this is a nice spot to build. Yep, nice and level, already cleared out for you. Yep, it's all cleared out, and we're going to continue on the road, and there's a brook down here. I want to show you that. We'll take a look at the meadow where the brook crosses the road, and then we'll work our way up to the top of the hill. Yep, let's go take a look. So we're in the middle of April now, almost in the middle of April. Things are drying out pretty good. And there's a nice mixture of softwood here on the lower portions of the property. The elevations here are running anywhere from 200 to 360 feet above sea level. There's not another nice opening right here where you could build. So we're about four or five poles away from the last power pole right now. And as you can see right here, we have a nice little building spot as well, another one. Yeah, this would make a great spot. And, um, you know, the, the wood's starting to turn from all softwood. We're starting to get into some of the hardwood. There's some maple trees here as well. Yeah, we're going to see a lot more of that as we yeah, get further as in. as we get up on the ridge, there's going to be all kinds of hardwood up there. Yeah. Yeah, so let's go check that one out then. So as we're leaving the second building spot, we're dropping down a little bit in elevation, maybe 10 feet. We're going to come into this meadow area. There's a small brook that crosses the road here, and it flows, it flows into George Pond. George Pond is this tiny little pond off from Route 1A in Holden. But let's stop take a look at the meadow here. I think you'll enjoy it, and I know the wildlife certainly do. So this is the little brook here that flows into George Pond. And this meadow, it's about a five-acre meadow but just teeming with wildlife, all kinds of different birds, and there's deer tracks all over the place here. So certainly a little sanctuary here for the wildlife. So Carson, you think this is a nice hunting lot here? Well, I know those aren't my footprints right there. <laughs> no, it kind of looks like a deer super highway running through here right now. And, you know, we're just coming out of mud season, so the ground is soft enough so that they're sinking right in, but they are traveling this road in good shape. So here's one of the old logging yards here. They did a little bit of timber harvesting. 
but we're coming up onto the ridge where we're going to predominantly get into a hardwood forest with a little bit of fir and, and hemlock mixed in, but we're mostly fir. Be some nice blackberry and raspberry picking here along the road this coming summer. Be a nice treat. So we're further up the lot here now. We're probably, our elevation I want to say is around 300 feet currently. Close to that. Yeah. Close to that. Yeah, and I think right here, if you cut a few more of these hardwood trees, definitely going to have views of Fitz Mountain and Chase Mountain, which is in the neighboring town of Dedham. So you could have panoramic views here. Looking to the south, you know, south, southeast would be a beautiful exposure. It really would be. This would be an amazing spot for a house. Get a lot of sun. Uh, this would be a good solar location, good wind location too. Absolutely, either or, or both. Yeah, let's, let's get up a little further up into the lot and see what we can find. So we made it to the end of the road here, and as you can see, we have another great spot to build with equally as amazing views, if not a little bit better. Yeah, and I, the topography here, if it was myself, I'd put in a house here with a daylight foundation. So Absolutely. So on the hillside here, it's, it's pretty much set up for that. So I think what we, uh, what we ought to do now is we'll hike some of the old trails here, maybe get a, find that highest elevation point, see mm -hmm. what that looks like. Yeah. Okay. So we've hiked into the lot here and we found a nice stand of old oak trees here, which would explain a lot of the deer traffic. Absolutely. That would explain why we're seeing that it looks like a super highway of deer traveling through here. <laughs> yeah. So we made it back to the road and behind us there's, you can see, and maybe we can pull up the topo map, but there's a ridge line behind us that I could see multiple cabin sites up there. Oh, absolutely. With panoramic views looking to the south, southeast. So whether you wanted to put up some log cabins or whatever it might be, um, friends, family, or even rental cabins. Yeah, there's, this lot is so versatile as for like spots where you can build, it's unbelievable. It is, so Pretty all kinds of opportunity here. Build your off-grid home up here or tied to the grid down in the valley. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. All right, folks, thanks for joining us today and holding on this 170 acre lot. Uh, the price of this lot is $375,000. Um, you know, one thing we already talked about earlier is the location. The location is a big thing with this lot. Um, you know, you're 15 minutes away from Bangor and about 25 away from Ellsworth. Yeah, so, it, and even though you're that close to the city of Bangor. Doesn't feel like it, doesn't look like it. No, it, it doesn't. even know. <laughs> no, it's a nice country location. Population of Bangor is about 32,000 people. The city of Brewer is around 10. And, you know, yep. both of those are within minutes from the property. And then Ellsworth is like 9,000 people. Nice area. Um, and the, a lot of the, uh, the infrastructure has been put in place here. You know, you've got 3,600 feet of road that's built up onto the higher elevations. And the elevations here are running anywhere, anywhere from two to 360 feet uh, above sea level. And then we do have an electric that's been run in on the lot about 700 feet. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you that are looking for a property to build your home on to work from home, don't, you know, don't live in the city. Move up to the country here and uh, start, uh, Starlink, right? Yep. Starlink is a good option for your internet. Mm -hmm. And we, we've actually, we're using that now on, on one of our off-grid locations and it works fantastic. So folks, thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you next time. <laughs>